Welcome back to the Coaches Desk, people. Hoping everybody doing well and everybody doing all right. All right. So we're here again to give another video, people, on what transpired in the Gold Cup. Now, I don't want persons to get me wrong. I'm not here to attack the coach. I'm not here to attack the players. I'm just here to give my opinion on what I believe, you know, um, transpired in the competition. My opinion is stand corrected because I'm not the repository of, of all knowledge. Therefore, my uh, opinion is under scrutiny as well. So if persons think I'm wrong, I have no problem with it. You know what I mean? But let, uh, let's put things into perspective. And before I get into that, people, big up yourself for tuning into the show again. Thanks for, for the support. Thanks for uh, being a part of the channel. If you're new around here, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and be a part of this great um, channel. All right, so let's get back into what i was about to talk about in terms of um things that happen at the gold cup players definitely i think that they they, they um for the most part they played a a, a, a hard game right throughout the competition the, 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 the three games that they played uh in the first round they played hard they played hard they played grit so we can't take anything away from them in in that aspect same thing was done in the in the quarterfinal game. I think they played pretty hard. Um, they gave it their all on the on the pitch, and and we have to give uh, and show support to the players for that. You know, um, the result might not be one that we wanted because even in giving out their all in in in, in that event, in that competition, they actually um, you know wilted under the pressure because they would have gotten opportunities to hit the back of the net and it was not done therefore um there, there, there wasn't any uh, much that in terms of blaming that could be done where that is concerned but let us um jump over to to to, to coach whitmore like i said earlier it's nothing personal it's just my observation in terms of what i believe uh, would have happened in this competition now, I mean, I have always been saying that preparation is important in any competition. There's no competition you're going to go into and the opponent is going to allow you to take charge of the, um, the competition. A matter of fact, sports is not, not like that. You have to proper preparation prevents poor performance. And uh, we would have seen a, a, a lot of poor performances from... Uh, the, the, the players in the competition because a lot of things went on in terms of the lead up or the build up to, to the Gold Cup where, 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 where friendlies were concerned. They didn't get a lot of opportunity to play games. I mean, it, it, was, it was very bad in terms of plans into playing games. Uh, things never worked out. Players pull out. I mean, game had to be cancelled and all of that. So it was a it was a, a sort of situation that wasn't um, beneficial to the, to the players in terms of going into a major competition like the, um, the, 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 the Gold Cup. So we understand all these uh, other variables that would have contributed to um, performances as well. You know what I mean? But, I mean, Coach Whitmore would have gotten most if not all of the items or stuff that you would have asked for in the lead up or the build up to a competition like this um for quite some time he has been asking for an assistant a matter of fact he he he, he got two because um his, his 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 former chief assistant was removed he got two other uh, chief assistant in um, Paul All, former reggae boys and, reg uh, and and World Cup star as well, would have um, joined the four of, of coaches and also he's a pro-licensed coach. I mean, they would have also added Meron Gordon, another uh, assistant there, to, to, to give a, another eye in terms of, uh, you know, one coach, two coaches can't see everything. And of course, there's always Warren Barrett, um, the goalkeeper coach. So he would have gotten those things. I mean, coach also would have gotten um, doctors, physio, um, trainers, equipment managers and all of that. 
So all the things that you would have asked for, you would have gotten. In, he also got a video analyst um, to assist in terms of maneuvering through teams, uh, look how teams played, pick up the stats, uh, the weaknesses and strengths of those teams in order to put a game plan together. You know what I mean? Um, but in, in, in getting all of this, in getting all of this, the, 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 a matter of fact, <laughs> they, they also sort out wages for the, 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 the players. Contractual agreements have been reached. So, I mean, players weren't unsettled going into a competition like this. So that is also a good thing. Um, they, they, they got a, 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 a approximately two weeks training camp. I mean, much can't be done in that, but most national teams are pickup teams. So, I mean, you don't expect persons to uh, get a whole month together, especially when players are coming um, off competition, end of season, and, and all other um, aspects of, of, of that. You know what I mean? So, he got these things. So, people, I said that to say, has the coach failed in his quest to win the Gold Cup? Yes, he has failed because the team is out. But with all the, 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 the things that he would have requested and he got them, yeah, is it a situation where he would have failed the team? I want that question to be answered, people. Yeah, because, I mean, you made a lot of requests. He made a lot of requests, wanting these things to assist him in his progress. Yeah? Or is it a case where the team let the coach down? Because, again, we, we, we can't overemphasize the fact that this team would have created a whole lot of opportunities. I mean, there were some clear goal-scoring opportunities from the team and the gentleman did not hit the back of the net and 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 you wonder why 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 it happened what transpired the players and i mean it's not like it was a one player that was getting up with our one striker because well i don't want to really call any name to 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 go over um, that again, but I mean, it 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 is that situation, and 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 it it in my estimation, it is sad, yeah. So, did the did the players fail the coach, or the coach failed in his quest, given the fact that he was given all that he required? You know what I mean. So. It, it is something to look into. I am not going to be jumping on any wagon to say that the coach is to be fired. Yeah? I'm not jumping on that wagon. So I don't want anybody to get me wrong. I'm just putting things into perspective. Um, many will say it is nothing to hold back, but the coach needs to go. But I, I can ask this question. Is it a situation now that we need a coach? Or persons might say, are we going to wait until there are two, three games? So, for example, you know, we played two of the CONCACAF teams that we're going to have in that round. And we lost those two games narrowly. So, is it the same thing that is going to be happening come September? We're going to be playing Mexico. Is it going to be three losses in a row? I mean...